In this problem, we're going to find the indefinite integral. So solution. So we're going to start by writing this uh, in a better way. We're going to take this e to the 2x and we're going to bring it upstairs. So we have the indefinite integral of 5x times e to the negative 2x dx. And so whenever you have uh, an integral like this, where one of the factors after repeated differentiation is eventually zero, and we can integrate the other factor, we can use what's called tabular integration. So in tabular integration, basically one of the factors after repeated differentiation has to eventually be zero. So we start by writing down 5x, and then we write down the other factor here, e to the negative 2x. And then here we just differentiate. So the derivative of 5x is 5. And then you take the derivative again and you get 0. And then here we simply integrate e to the negative 2x. Now when you're integrating um, like e to the bx when b is not equal to 0, basically you just divide by this constant. So this will be e to the bx divided by b plus c. Pretty easy to show this with a u substitution. However, in a problem like this, it's really not a good idea to do that. We just do it in our head. So basically, we just divide by negative 2, which is the same as multiplying by negative 1 half. And then you do it again. You divide by negative 2, which again is the same thing as multiplying by negative 1 half. So 1 fourth e to the negative 2x. So again, you pick the factor that after repeated differentiation is eventually zero, and then the other factor, you just keep integrating it. Then you start by writing a plus sign and you alternate, so plus, minus, plus. Then you draw arrows and you multiply and you're done. So it'll be negative, let's see, five x times this will be negative five halves x e to the negative two x. And then this will be negative 5 times 1 fourth, so negative 5 fourths, e to the negative 2x. And then we have our constant of integration, capital C. So really powerful technique. You can do this basically, again, one of the factors has to be 0 just after a repeated differentiation. So you differentiate it. And you have to actually be able to integrate the other factor. In this case, it's really easy. We just repeatedly divide by negative 2. Write a plus, start with the plus always, and then alternate plus minus plus, draw arrows and multiply, and you have the answer. Good luck.